As dawn breaks over the forest roof, the soft light reaches down like slender fingers between the trees, meeting the rising mist as the sun's rays gently warm the damp undergrowth. The sounds of creatures, both great and small, looking for the first meal of the day, was broken by heavy set footsteps and a soft, dragging sound. Bright eyes peered from the safety of thick bushes, while others watched in silence from the canopy above. The Hessian sack, tied with rope and slung over the shoulder, weighed heavy and bumped over broken branches and rocks that lay in its path. The rough rope pulled tight, strained against the weight, like a ship dragging its anchor. Still, the large form plodded on, as sure-footed as a goat, even under this cumbersome burden. Reaching the edge of a small clearing, he looked about while remaining carefully concealed within the shadows. Then, after selecting a suitable space, started to dig. The shovels struck the soft soil with powerful strokes, each moving a large portion of the forest floor until a mound of soil rose up and a deep grave started to take shape. Before long, the last pile of dirt was thrown upon the heap. The hole, now as deep as the shovel's long handle, gaped like an open wound in the forest floor. The Hessian sack that had laid in silent witness was now dragged to the edge and unceremoniously pushed in, landing with a muffled thud. Once again, the shovel replaced the soil, burying the sack, filling the hole, and working at a manic pace until all the soil was replaced. Then a carefully selected branch was used to gather and spread leaves and bracken in an attempt to camouflage the disturbed soil. Collecting his shovel and checking the area one last time, he walked back through the forest, his burden lifted, his task now finished. Passing the scrutinizing eyes that had been wary of his presence from the very start, back into the village that was stirring uneasily on this unholy Sunday morn. In the distance, the village chapel bell rang, shattering the air and causing creatures to take flight. Its monotone ring reminding its members to gather for Sunday services. Although, it would appear, there would be one less member in attendance this morning. <laughs>